<clears throat> I never really thought about vlogging before. Didn't really seem like something that I would be into. Skating around, talking directly to it, talking to the lens. It's weird. follow a lot of vloggers, a lot of YouTubers. I've seen them, but most of them have to do with gaming or they have to do with fashion or lifestyle or... <laughs> That's such a Midwestern thing to say. No, I... Or general narcissism. A really, you know, good beard porn. There's a lot of like up angle, this kind of thing. Look at Nick's beard. And, uh, you know, that didn't really seem like me. <clears throat> I'm a writer, mostly. Uh, but I also understand the nature of the modern internet, modern marketing, the social media things. I spend a lot of time on Twitter now. The fiction market is so saturated. Hard to get an agent, so hard to get a publisher. Like, even self-publishing is really hard because you have to spend a lot of work that... I've done these things, but I also like film, and that's sort of the point of this, is that recently I've seen a couple indications of good vlogging. I didn't really know it was a thing. Uh, specifically, this Casey Neistat, I believe is how you say it, he's a filmmaker, and his vlogging takes on more of a filmmaking kind of aspect. And he does one every day, which kind of blows my mind. And they're well edited, which also kind of blows my mind. And I don't think people realize how hard the editing is. Editing's hard. I've done my own videos, especially surf videos. Uh, which I'll also link to. And, um, you know, they took a long time. Especially the second one. Uh, it took six months to shoot and then maybe three or four months to edit and I uh, spent a lot of time on it. It was hard. But I like film. I've always liked film. Uh, I've made a couple narrative films. I've made a couple surf films. I've made a number of surf films and other sort of documentary films that I've never put out on the internet because they weren't good enough. But this seems like it might be a uh, doable thing. Forced me to edit more. Forced me to get used to talking to the camera, talking to the lens. Which seems weird to me. High quality HD modern video all up in my pores. But I guess that's where I gotta start. You know, you gotta be honest with your viewer. I gotta like not look away. Cause I wanna look away. The lens is like a little too frightening. Like, already in order to just start this, I had to have quite a lot of coffee and a beer. I'm on my second beer. Full sail IPA. And I'm on my porch. Which I guess this is how you do it, right? Spin around, look at my porch. This is not my surfboard. It's my friend's surfboard. I've ridden it, it's nice. But he got a couple holes in it. And uh, we're setting it out in the sun to get the water out so I can repair it. Anyway, I'll move on. <laughs> Why would I do this? Why vlog? Well, I feel like there is a 
certain direct honesty to it. I wonder if you can even hear this over the rattle of the skateboard. I've learned how to film with the GoPro pretty well. I've been filming with the GoPro for a couple of years, and I like it as a camera. Uh, I'm still on the GoPro Hero 2, even though they're up to the 4 now. Woo, look at that. Tacking, so good. Um, but I do live in an interesting, beautiful town. Santa Cruz, California. It's June 2015. I'm in my upper 30s. Kind of still surprised about. Man, I'm self conscious about the camera. I thought I was self conscious when I was filming surf. And that's what this fucker was designed for. I don't skateboard enough. Alright, I had to stop skating. It was too loud, too distracting. <laughs> Even though it is really nice out. It's been warm, summer. No waves, but it's alright. Getting novel, novel work done. That's probably what I'll, uh, I'll talk about in this blog. If I can get over my nervousness, God. Um, it's, you know, riding, surfing, Santa Cruz weirdness, living like a funky bohemian, still skating when you're almost 40, which, like, nobody respects. <laughs> Which way should I go? But I feel like there is plenty I want to say. That's part of the reason I'm a writer. So if there's a lot I want to say, and I can handle talking directly to the camera, then I should do it. Okay, more skating. One thing I like about vlogs as a concept is they're honest. And uh, you know, I have a decent beard, but uh, like this is a this is an entire almost an entire year. It could be better, you know. Um, anyway, that's not really what I want to talk about. I'm not a millennial. Like, I'm definitely more towards the Gen X spectrum, although I'm on the young side of Gen X. Um, and so, like, putting your whole life out on the internet has always seemed a little weird for me. And yet, I've been on the internet for a long, long, long time, since the beginning of the popular internet. Uh, I got on, I got my first email account in 93, 94. 94, I think, yeah. And uh, I've been on the internet ever since. And I've kind of done everything that's been on the internet for the most part. I don't do Instagram. I do Twitter instead. You know, blah, blah, blah. I think Facebook sucks now. I've always kind of thought Facebook sucks. Uh, I've been a long time Redditor, but Reddit, Reddit sucks. Um, it's just the most convenient message board. I mean, the Reddit, Reddit as a whole sucks. Uh, you know, it's racist, ignorant, and people think that they're smarter than they are. There are some good subreddits. Maybe I'll talk about that later in another future blog. Um, but really, exposing yourself on... It feels weird to me because I started off on the early internet where you... 
So, I just started reviewing the footage, and of course, one of the first things I do is I put my finger over the uh, mic button, well, mic holes, which are very small and uh, barely feel like anything. It's no excuse. I did it. I was wrong. And now I gotta cut around this. It creates trolls, you know, and trolls are a big problem with the modern internet, you know, doxing, tell, calls the police and sends them to the home of a person doing live video. That's fucking crazy. We never even thought about that shit back in the 90s. Like, show your house, you know, like, where you live, what you do. Um, I mean, certainly people can hate on you, but that's not, eh, it doesn't even really bother me. High quality criticism, on the other hand, uh, you know, like, if somebody actually reads one of your books and actually thinks about it, and responds in an intelligent manner. Well, that can that can be powerful. But you know, today internet it's full of like trolls and and you know teenagers and we're in a, a period where the web is uh, not as good as it once was. The main point is, uh, can I deal with putting myself out there in this degree? The modern Kim Kardashian kind of internet that we live in. You know, uh, I'm a funky, broke writer living in a funky town, one of the most liberal towns in America that you can find, which still isn't really liberal enough. But what is privacy, you know? Uh, I don't know how long to go on about this kind of thing, how boring it would be. Anonymity is sort of a new thing anyway. You know, certainly if you live in a small town or, you know, classically before the last 150 years, you know, when you didn't, when people didn't move much, you knew all the people around you. Like, maybe even in a big city, like, you would know everyone in your neighborhood because your neighborhood was, you know, the whole city to you, and, and mass transportation didn't exist, and created anonymity. Anonymity. If I say that too many times, I'm going to get wrong. I've also had two beers now. Um, and just a little bit of weed. Okay, I should be honest about these kind of things. I love weed. Weed is amazing. Um, I like coffee and alcohol, too. They're my three primary drugs. I shouldn't even be worried about the notion of losing my anonymity because that would require popularity. I, I'm not designed to be popular. I'm looking at the thing and it's, it's 10 minutes. 10 minutes I've gone by? Nobody wants to see me babble on for 10 minutes. Now there's too many tangents and I gotta stop. Mango time.